Hey guys, what's poppin? Uh, so this is my SoundCloud garb. And I got a lot of crazy stuff in here. Uh, I want to give a shout out to my boy Lil Thick coming in hot with those slaps. I'll play him later. Uh, I kind of want to bring up uh, when people talk about positivity and negativity right like those are the only two factoring things that has any sort of a weight in a discussion but in reality it's not really positive and negative it's just the best outcome versus the worst outcome right per se because i don't know like uh, i remember seeing this video of chance the rapper saying uh like someone threw a water bottle or something it's like no 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 love no 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 hate no hate all love all love Hey, but you know who you are. Fuck, fuck this guy. And it's like, what? <laughs> Wait a minute. Oh, and uh, Fousey Tube. You know that guy? The uh, Fousey Con shit. That shit was wild. You know, poor little poppy. Goes on my dick, and you know I gonna be lit. The thing with the spliff, and you know I got it. I forgot how it goes. I'm lit like a bit. <laughs> fuck, okay. That guy, that guy catching fire, catching on fire. So, uh, yeah, basically he's talking about like, it's all peace and love, positivity, right? No negativity. And he talks about how he surrounds himself with positivity and nobody that's negative. But you can't need those people, right? You can't need the negative people in your, in your life. You got people that will tell you no. Someone that will call you an idiot for being an idiot, right? Keep you in check. I think we all need that. Because sooner or later, it just kind of just goes to your head, right? Uh, everything will just... You'll, see, you, you, you'll seem so invincible, so... Your power limitless, you know? You're, you are no longer tethered to your boundaries. You're untethered, right? Uh, and, and, and you can see how that train of thought or that behavior could quickly lead to your demise. So to speak, uh, or it might lead to, you know, the land of milk and honey. I don't know. It's doing a lot of crazy fucking shit, and if something fucking works, and you know, you're set. But that being said, it's probably really unlikely and not worth it. And calculated risk, and low low risk, high reward stuff is probably your best bet. Uh, yeah, back to the thing of like positivity and negativity. People look at things like that in their life. It's not really. I mean, it can help and they can have a good outcome, but it's not beneficial to the final product, right? Which is what's best for the individual in question or in or groups, right? Or whatever. So, like uh, maybe in eating your your carrots, even though you hate that shit, sucks ass, but. You need that vision. You need that vitamin C. So, like, it's negative, but has a positive outcome, right? Or even more, like, just realizing that there are certain facts in our reality that we must accept. And bring it to a discussion, right? I think too much soda is gonna have a negative effect. You know, you're gonna get more acne. You're gonna feel like shit after. Your mood's gonna be affected, whether you like it or not, whether you rather you have control of your emotions or not, right? Uh, it slows you down. Fucking like makes you all that sugar, right? No nutrients in it. Adds weight to you, right? If you keep drinking like a fuck ton of soda, you can gain a lot of weight from just just soda alone, right? If you just switch it out for water or I don't know juice, but juice it could be as bad as so soda, but at least you're getting some kind of nutrients, right? That is, if it doesn't go through your body, so not starting quickly. You know, or like uh, even something more a little bit more serious, something a little bit more con con controversial, right? Like. Like the lowest was it 
the poorest population of groups of people in America is African American, right? Well, that's like, well, what are you, a fucking racist? Why would you say something like that? Well, it's true. You need to just figure out why. You need to break that shit down. We could empower these people to live better lives, right? Because to realize, fix something, you need to realize there's a problem in the first place. Um, I got home around 9.30, so I didn't have time to get order the books. I, need, I'm gonna, I want to talk to my sister's boyfriend who has Amazon Prime. He usually lets me order things without the paper shipping. It's Amazon Prime. And it should come here like pretty fast as well. Yeah, so let's sing aside for my boy Little Thick to play his play a song. He killed that track, like real time. He killed that track. Yeah, follow my boy. I don't really know him at all, but he's cool. And I like, I feel like if I ever have a conversation with him, he would be like, "Yeah, make music, dude. Do that shit." And I'd be like, "You're right, little thick. What was I thinking? Not making music." I'll just make some music. This one be uh, I'll take for the next video. I'll try I'll try to figure something out. I think of a of some something to put over the beat. Some words. And then we'll kinda go from there. It's pretty like it's pretty sick. And it's like it feels like like you just keep going and going and going, right? Like this beat makes me feel like like you're just going, right? Like going in life and you're not really sure, you're just kind of going through the motions, but like, man, is it tiring. Man, is it so uh, cramped and small and, but fuck, this beat's good. I'll be damned if this isn't, if this isn't, if there isn't something better than this. Where I'm at in life right now, it's like, 
it's pretty cool. It's really rewarding. Around a lot of positive people, around a lot of people who uh, want to see me succeed. And the best way for me to make them happy is to succeed myself. Right? So that's that's really like I'm really fortunate to have that. Really, really, really empowering for me to be around these people. Even even though the work's pretty hard, right? Um, it's pretty difficult at times. But my attitude, I have a really positive attitude and a really good worth worth ethic and philosophy. My my ideas behind like working in the kitchen is like uh like just want, I just want to do the best job. If it's not right, I'll fix it. I mean, tell me how to do it. Okay, I'm doing it. Best shot, it's broken, or I fucked it up. I'm fixing it, <laughs> right? Like, like, you just keep going and going and going and going. I'm kind of going through the motions, but with the pip in my step, a smile on my face, and all my thoughts focusing on how to improve and do better and fast, and yeah, kind of where I'm at. So, like, I acknowledge the difficulty of, of it, but. So far, I haven't, like, I might have been overwhelmed, but I want to be there, and that's something I want to be doing. It's something I enjoy doing. It's almost like meditating in a way sometimes. Uh, I don't really mind. And even when I'm overwhelmed or stressed or, I, I never, I'm never stressed, but, uh, like, you get the idea. It's, it, it never, like, if I'm in the moment and thinking about it, it doesn't feel that way, right? When I look back on it, it's like, well, fuck, I was pretty fucked, right? <laughs> like, damn, like, I got fucked pretty hard back there. Like, holy moly. But, you know, we alive. The song goes, so. We did it. We alive. We survived, baby. Song. But, I'll figure it out. I'll, uh, if, I, if I remember, I'll put it in the next video. Right, now I'm trying to figure out something to talk about. Yo, okay, I got something to talk about. I got something that's pretty fucking weird. Like, when you actually start thinking, well, at least, at least for me, when I actually start thinking about it. Conversations, right? Uh, for me, I love, I love conversating. I love talking to new people. And I love learning about new people, right? That, that experience is so... Man, like, I could talk to someone that I haven't talked to before and have a really good conversation and have it have it feel like it's been 20, 30 minutes, but it's actually been an hour or two hours, literally. And it, I look at the clock, I'm like, well, fuck, I need to sleep, but I got to keep talking to it. I'm just so engaged. It's just so en en encapsulating, this person. Uh, but when you actually think about, like, why did I say this or how do we even have a conversation? Like, you break it down. It's besides the hi how are you wonderful weather we're having it it it's kind of i don't know like a, an abyss and it's kind of something you're just pulling from the ether and what am i actually pulling i don't really know i think i'm thinking about like how do i have a conversation right now with some with this person what would i talk about you're talking about my, my chef right what would i tell this person Oh yeah, this book is pretty cool. What would that person say? Like, oh yeah, I'll check it out. Then, but then, I know that in person we'll have like we'll be going back and forth, or or it should be like, like like a uh, bitch. You burned the shit. Be like, my mama raised a bitch. What you want me to say? <laughs> I don't know. Fuck. It's like I don't. Know, it's just weird. Like. When you're just talking to someone and you just you're just talking and just talking and just talking. It's just so automatic and so natural, so instinctual. Being on that level, that of like, well, you both on that level of just saying not what not what comes to mind, but just what feels natural, right? Like it just comes out so so easily. Everything just flows so well. Man, I need a case. Okay, so, okay, so every now and then, like, like I, I we I have one of these epics, right? Person, like, quotation mark per se epics where 
or I'm talking to someone or talking with people and and it just breaks down to controlled chaos, right? Like like this anarchy, it, like we're, we're all directing in a certain uh, shift and we're, we're going toward, towards one direction and we're going to get the one way or the other, right? If I'll be, if I'm not fucking Nicholas Manor, right, on the, on the goddamn internet. Uh, so I was talking to my friend Yasin. He plays League, right? He's Challenger, which is pretty good for a beginner. Uh, and and he was he was bringing up the fact that that he was an egg and he tried to like he plays Nivea he's an egg and in that latency the ping like the three frames of latency put into perspective uh, stopped him from being able to secure the kill or win the engagement or whatever and it took me like me and my friend literally an hour and thirty minutes of running through all the all the facts and data and information and scenarios and. And, and all these 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 uh these analogies right and like drawings and schematics literally just 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 to just for him to come to the, the conclusion that it was actually his fault and the only person to blame is is him fucking up because he fucking sucks right it was just so fucking difficult but it was but uh, it was fun it was actually really fun and after if i recorded that oh fuck it was like uh those people what is it like uh when you're in water, you are not wet, okay? You are covered in water, but you are not wet. But the second I put a drop of water on you, you are then wet. And the person's like, what the fuck are you talking about? You're wet or dry. There's no in between. Like, oh my goodness. Crazy stuff. Oh. Yeah. Concerned about my shouting. Cat's name's Toast. And I need a girlfriend. I had a girlfriend before. A couple girlfriends. But now I need another one. And now I need one that's like the you know you have a girlfriend where it's like, I love you, I love you too. Okay bye. Like you just talk anything. Like sure, like she's a girlfriend, but like you guys don't really hang out. Either it's like internet girlfriend or like you're just really fucking young and like what the fuck are you gonna do? Um, but now I'm just like, but I want to go to some movies. I want to slip in some puss. I want to meet some parents. I want to shake your dad's hand and let him know that I got a manly grip and I'm in a profession that takes grit. You know? Some shit like that. Because, like, man, nice to have someone to talk to, like, say good morning, you know? Pretty cool. And. It's kind of weird because like I have a lot of people that care for me. And, oh, my cat. You know, that's my boy, little number. Yes, my cat pressed the button. What are you doing? My door's open. What do you want? Oh, my because it's in the way. I might hear it on the mic. I'm just moving like a like filth because I live in filth and I'm too lazy to put shit up. Okay. Um. Like I have a lot of people that care for me and talk to me, not talk to me, but like they root for me and they were to ask a question about me. No. Just like they like ask someone to ask him a question about me. They're like, yeah, that's my boy Nick. He's sick as fuck. He holds down the block. That's my nigga. Uh. But I think I think it has to do with something with. Either this generation or the age that I'm at and the level of maturity that the average person is at my age or they, they won't I do the same exact thing right like like um whenever I keep up with you keep keep in touch unless it's like involves them and I really need to start doing this I really really do I think we all should is um, not keep in touch so to speak but just let them know that you care right because that goes a long way not just 
the for the sake of the relationship, but for each other's sake, <laughs> right? As cheesy as that is, that, like imagine if you just like uh, we all have that friend that was like, yo, have you, yo, we used to kick it, fucking stars out, feet in the pool, just just talking about just shooting the shit, talking about the bitches we hate, bitches that are were too late. And we took that bait, but y'all, y'all niggas, we know we just masturbate. That shit, you know, you just kick it, and you say stupid shit, and hang out. We don't do it anymore. But you, but you know they down if if it comes to it. Empty clips. But uh, but you know you don't mention it for like a fucking year or three. Uh, but I think I've come with the I I've came up with a solution. Every time you reminisce, like, within reason, because sometimes you might reminisce for a couple like the same every day for a couple weeks, or whatever. It might it might just be on your mind, but but whenever someone crosses your mind, you shoot them shoot them a hello, shoot them a what's up, shoot them like hey man, just thinking about you, or hey man, uh. Cross my mind. Hope you're doing well. Like literally, that's it. And there's, and nobody's gonna take that the wrong way or or, or anything. It, it it's just gonna warm their heart and make them feel pretty fucking good. Um, I've gotten that twice. Out of like the ten people I want to hear that from, and it feels fucking good. So, know that. So for this video, I'll link Little Dick's song, and yeah, I think that's about it. Um, send me something, some lyrics, man. Send me some rap lyrics. Send me something you want me to rap. Now, I'll tell you right now, I do not have a rap voice as you, I preference in the first episode or video or part or whatever the fuck it's gonna be. Um. But I'm trying, and send me something that's like flow or like like a verse you want me to rap over, cause like it'll be fun, it'll be interactive. You be like, y'all, this guy sing my music. I like. You know, maybe maybe I might get some deeper deeper understanding of the lyrics if I say them out loud and try to rap them. Correct flow. That's the main thing I got to work on first. It's just my flow, right? My timing. But yeah, but with the the, the rap that I made, it's not supposed to be iPods. I I, I meant to change it to Foons. Right, like everyone's like rushing to get the new fit, get them their phones. But I'm just content bumping my zoom, talking about show like I'm talking about blues clues. Missing my mom, counting my twos. Like, I'll stop, I'll stop. But I, I got, I don't know. I, I, think, I think that's a good rap, and I gotta, I gotta work on that freestyle a little bit. That's, it's a freestyle, right? Because it's just something, something you can sing to any beat, really. And you just jot, jot down. What does freestyle even mean, right? Uh, I remember I watched some of Sways in the mornings, right? You watch uh, Childish Gambino do it, like his Rosenberg rap or whatever. It seems so planned, right? Like it seems so, like I w- okay, okay. Some people could freestyle like fucking like liquid gold just comes out their mouth, right? But sometimes you you gotta question like, is that really? Did you, is that really off the top? Or but then I also see like some rappers call it like a freestyle, right? Like like oh, this is my freestyle on SoundCloud. Check it out. And like maybe they wrote something up in like in a day and they just snapped it on, and that's why it's a freestyle because it's not really high production quality. It's just something they just wanted to make, right? So it's just some spurt of inspiration or some kind of creativity they just wanted to put out there. I understand that. But then calling it freestyle. But then what else are you gonna call it, right? Like um, my pre my premeditated lyrics. There's one that comes to mind, fucking, oh, yo, I'm gonna play this. No, I don't wanna play it. Fuck! I wanna play it, but I don't wanna get copyrighted. This is it's, it's a pretty popular. I, I, I remember it being pretty popular on YouTube. I do, okay, I'll just, I'll just let you guys look it up, okay? It's actually really fucking sick, okay? Like, probably one of the, not the, one of the, it's not, it's not the most, but it's one of them, okay? The sickest freestyles I've seen is when uh, Andy Milanakis is in Tokyo. And he, he grabs the mic and just starts rapping in like in, in public in a busy busy like area, right? 
and and then, and then the police a police officer comes right he's like okay you gotta shut it down all right and then and then and he's looking at the police officer he just he just he just spitting he's spitting out the police officer like spit, spitting these these rhymes and 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 then the whole crowd goes the whole crowd goes silent when the police officer walks up and then Annie turns to him, looks at him, dead in the fucking eye, and then starts spitting. Like like nothing's changed, like like he's not even there, looking right through him. And the crowd goes the crowd goes so fucking loud. It's so fucking cool, man. Like Oh, the energy is just oof. That's man, it gave me it gave me some feels when you started like like chills on my face, like a wave of it. It's like, oh that's so fucking cool. Man, I like freestyling. Like I like rap, okay? Man. Right, 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 right. I think, I think I've been talking for a little bit too long now. I didn't even see like, I mean, I was having a conversation with myself at this point, and, and I felt like it's been ten minutes, maybe may, maybe thirteen, fifteen, but it's been twenty five minutes, and I gotta hit the hay. I gotta go to work tomorrow. Gotta get in that kitchen. Yo, fuck! I gotta fucking start stretching. I gotta, I gotta start touching my toes. I gotta start bending my hands back. Get 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 my 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 nerve tunnels that connect my my hands and my my wrist tendons. I gotta get that shit stretched out because I'm getting a little too tight, a little too tight, a little too quick. One of these days, my Achilles my Achilles heel is gonna snap, roll all the way up my 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 calf, past my calf to my my fucking what's that? My the back of my thigh. And I'm just gonna cry until my mom gets there and then cry some more. Cause that's gonna be unbearable. Ugh. Oh, this was really fun. Yeah, this is something I, I, I really want to do this thing. Maybe every day. Once every other day for sure. All right, I'm liking it. I'm digging it. I'm digging. Ooh, for a moment there. Oh, uh, yeah, I'm gonna end it. I'm gonna like in a minute, but I just want to tell you guys the feeling that I felt like for the past ten minutes, right? Like a, a sense of nirvana, right? That makes sense. Like, uh, like being present. Like I was, I was not thinking about anything fucking else, right? Like I was just literally like my all my surroundings and everything was didn't fucking matter, right? Like I, my cat was there. I saw my screen. I saw this little cut, cut, cut crying cute girl from K on, right? I think. But it didn't it fucking matter because I wasn't even thinking about any of that. I was so fucking present and just saying, like, I was just having a conversation, you know, just coming out naturally. Whatever was coming out of my mouth is what I was feeling, whatever the flow was. Hopefully, you guys w were able to understand me because I wasn't focusing too hard on speaking. Usually, I have to make an effort to speak because it's, it's pretty hard for me to say words right sometimes. Alright guys, take care. Safe. Whoa, 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 whoa. Toaster on my cat. I don't know if you heard my cat. Be safe, have fun, take care.